match, and here it is. Round a great takes a hard one. Terrific right hand, and that's going to discourage Aaron Pryor. Aaron Pryor comes in like you would expect. Starting out fast, looking to score. Arguello coming back to the roar of the crowd. Go the distance if it keeps up this way, Steve. They're both going oh, out. 14 rounds, it's beginning just like that one. Oh. About 3,000 miles to the west. Oh, Arguello down in the first round. Oh. Tremendous punch oh. by Aaron Pryor. Oh. Right, it's to finish Arguello in the first round. Well, the, re the referee gave Arguello enough opportunity and looked at him and asked him if he was all right. Took it off now. They continue to win the ring. At the rate prior is going, he could tire, but his reputation has always gone this way. Well, we had a knockdown in the air with Lockridge and Bose Edwards, but Lockridge, who was knocked down, came back to win. Let's see what happens here. Well, Lock Rayo's getting tremendous shots to the head, and he looks hurt. And another Hold him, Alexis! Hold him! Ready, redness forming around the left eye of Alexis Arguello. Aaron Pryor. There's a right by Arguello, but a glancing blow to the head of at all. By Arguello. Another right by Arguello. A left up and up by Arguello. And back comes Pryor with a combination. Oh, a right, a thumping right by Pryor. Off now, getting a little rest going off to the rear because Pryor is too dangerous on the inside. Whether it be this round or Aaron Pryor hit nothing but air, but a right connected to the head of Arguello. First round, which seems like... There you go. Arguello won. We're heading one. Well, this is a good sharp angle. You can see that right cross right on the... Scheduled for 15. WBA Junior Welterweight Championship. Dean Steve at the right, that first round. Stepped off in that first round. Both right hands, those right hands across, but he knows they land. A right landed by Aaron Pryor. Arguello's lost a little bit of force. That right hand snapped Arguello's head back. Now they're right up above us. Comes back. Good time because he's shutting everything. There's a lunging right hand by Henry stepping back. Pryor will miss and he'll come from that second knockdown. Alexis is giving his all, his very, very best in this. Yes, indeed. He said win, lose, it's wrong. Arguello. Off a vicious right by Pryor. Pryor looks almost dead west to knock him out. Right uppercut to the belly by Arguello. Oh, a hard right by Arguello. The crowd. A back up. Now the middle. It's difficult to realize how that goes. Oh, boy, lots of times guys are here. Aaron Pryor's got a very, very sharp jab, and he keeps coming, he keeps punching. He, he's a little on the awkward side, but he's so determined to knock Arguello out early, that could be possibly a mistake on his part. Arguello coming back. Arguello is not for 15. A lunging. He'd be better off settling down to gather up some strength. Says get those punches up to Arguello. There's a thumping right by Pryor landed to the head of Alexis. Arguello counters with a left. And an awful lot of those punches off. Is Arguello is also picking off in the fight. Pryor has backed up the head of Arguello. All right, now Richard Steele won Arguello for throwing a low punch. A miss by Arguello with the right hand. That prior is constant action. He never, never gives up. He's like a big prior into the ropes. Right up with the left. But earlier, they don't like the antics of Pryor. Oh, looks to air it out. Left uppercut, right uppercut from the over And the crowd urging Arguello on. A right cross by Arguello landed. Another right. It's been nonstop action from the opening bell. A left hook gave him an opportunity and not an opportunity to rest. Now Arguello, charge again, looking to finish. Pryor looking to finish Arguello off. Arguello looking to hang on. Now Arguello is holding on. That's a bad sign. It would it would be wise of him to hold at this point. Don't push, don't push. Hold him. I, I can't understand. Arguello will not clench at this time. 
Pryor smiles. Big right now. by Arcueo. He almost went down for the third time. Oh, he's catching. He's catching Arcueo badly now. It doesn't look good for Alexis. Not at all. As Pryor continues to pummel Arcueo. Where does he get that energy? I don't know how he stays up. Unbelievable here in round four. Oh, a right hand by Arcueo. Amount of punishment at this point in time. Arguello is hanging by a thread. Punch it, out, punch it, get out. Punch it, get out. Watch it, He's watch lost it. his power, and he's having problems punching his way up. He's got that thirst for destruction. He just never stops. He is a living windmill. That's what he is. Round four is ending. Take a look at this by Aaron Pryor. He is relentless. Aaron Pryor is on that constant attack. He never, never lets up. He knows he has Arguello hurt. He hurt him with a left hook then. Another left hook and the right cross. They're all land. Tremendous left hook that knocked Arguello. And here's another, another shot of that. He's constant action. As I said earlier, he's a living windmill. My God, has he got power and full of energy. Pryor in the white arc. It certainly did. Overhand right. Brian looks very tired at all with all the energy he's expended. Right cross by Arguello, but didn't have that much impact. I still don't understand why. In all the fights I've refereed with a knockdown. God reacts. Deliberate now. You're right. He's on the defense now. He's just blocking. It seems. Although that was a tremendous left hook. Oh. Recycle himself here. Get that way when he threw that great left. <laughs> Bottom. Down, and he's telling him. Uh, since he's taken over, it's kind of embarrassed to see that he has flashbacks. And a lot of people had him ahead before the first five rounds. And he does, he does seem to. Right now he hits. And he, he gets was, hit, and he. Yes, and he was uh, his reach faster. But what do you expect? You know the. Well, although his reflexes have slowed down by age. Yes, yes, yes. Power being neutralized by Aaron. He's holding around the head. He is an artist when he is at his best in that ring. Don't hold him. Work your way out. Punch your way out. Arguello coming alive a little bit here. But alive. Pryor just turned him around. Alive, but it doesn't seem effective. That left hook uppercut that he normally has is very powerful, but it's just tapping now. See it? Just tapping. Round six concluding. <laughs> Scheduled for 15. There's no doubt that the crowd didn't like the way Aaron Pryor came in yelling and staring. Probing left jab. Then he comes in. It's told, but with Pryor, he's deliberately holding back. And... By point, round number seven. They're both tired. Goes Chris Pryor of Arguello. Then Arguello comes back with a snappy right. But again, Pryor doesn't seem to be phased. Did one. I thought Pryor was going to hit the record. Low blows Arguello was in the first fight. There's... Yeah, that's what he's doing, Steve. He's mustering up at that beautiful right here. Now Pryor comes. You wonder how it changed coming up right here. That was a great right cross in the part of Aguayo, but you did right by tying up Pryor. You ought to do more of that. There's Aguayo coming. Eight scheduled for 15. Pryor's corner just gave him an admonition. They said, put him to sleep. This looks like it's going to be the key round. Furious exchange as the round began. Crowd continues to exhort Alec Lillard because he has been hit several times low. The referee has failed to admonish him on that. He always, uh, the referee seems to be perhaps at the wrong. We see it here, but at his angle, we couldn't sit down. Right uppercut by Arguello to the midsection of Pryor. Tremendous comeback in this round by Arguello. He's got Pryor against the rope. Bray thrown into the ring now. It's. 
Combination by Pryor, but Pryor stopped a lot of uh, dirt going on. It's the heat of the fight. Oh, they really came out in this round. We thought it would never go the end of this round, really. It's really a relentless round on the part of Aaron Pryor. He keeps coming in, and Arguello is scoring beautifully, despite the fact that... Yes, as Arguello comes back. Arguello is very effective with the right cross, the left uppercut. Alexis Arguello comes out to meet Pryor. What in your... And that's about the only way he can do it. We did say earlier on top of the show, we thought it would end in the middle rounds or possibly. The continual cautioning of don't push to Aaron Pryor. The attack, but he's getting hit. Fight flicking punch, but should have, he should have been admonished on that also. Right uppercut by Arguello, but Pryor has that hard belly. With the rematches of yesterday. Billing, no question about it. Pryor. But Arguello sustained. Take control! Take it! Take it! Take control! Was not in top shape, but he has to be in the best shape of his life. Down two times. Pryor has registered 20 counts. Keep in mind, a knockout percentage of 0.939. Height of the 140-pound division as round nine is closing. Yes, however. A sequence of punches by the brawling. And it looks like it's very... Right cross all evening. There it is again. Combination by Pryor. Pryor cover. He's taking a tremendous repeat head punishment. And these are taking their toll against our... You notice that, Steve? All to the head. Nothing on the inside. And our... He is his fight. That pro I don't know. Here goes Pryor. Cut to the chin of Arguello. Arguello's in trouble. He's down. He's down. He's had it. Arguello, I'm sorry to say, doesn't look too good. His eye is hurting him. And he's, got, he's staying down. That's it. He it's all over. It's all over. The finishing blows by and Pryor. Pryor is on constant attack like he's been all night. He gave Arguello a tremendous lot of head punishment. But Arguello was valiant. He goes down. But he continues to take this unusual punishment. And that, that left uppercut really hurt Arguello. You could see that his mouthpiece was really displaced. You can see the way his face is grimacing. You can see he, goes, he wasn't really, uh, we couldn't see, but it looked like a right uppercut did it. His career probably will end. Yes, indeed. We may have seen the end of a brilliant 15-year career that began in 1968. Alexis Arguello going down for the third time. The third time he didn't get up. He just sat there, could not move. He was like just comatose, couldn't move. And there he goes. The winner by a knockout and still the WBA world champion in the junior welterweight division, Aaron the Hawk Pryor.